J.J. Abrams and Jordan Peele to donate new show proceeds to help fight Georgia abortion law. We J.J. Abrams and Jordan Peele have stated that they will donate all proceeds from their upcoming HBO drama to help fight the recently passed Georgia abortion law. On Tuesday, May 7, Georgia's Republican governor, Brian Kemp, signed a piece of legislation dubbed the Heartbeat Bill. The new law bans of, with their new HBO drama Lovecraft, count use it to shoot in Georgia in the coming weeks, J.J. Abrams and Jordan Peele are speaking out against the newly passed abortion bill. In a few weeks, we start shooting our new show, Lovecraft County, and will do so standing shoulder to shoulder with the women of Georgia, the pair said in a joint statement. Governor Kemp's, Jordan Peele credit Matt Winkelmeyer slash Getty Images. Adding that his a production company Bat Robot and Peel's Monkey Paw Productions will donate funds to fight the legislation, Abrams added "I stand with Stacey Abrams and the hard-working people of Georgia, and will donate 100% of our respective episodic fees for this season to two organizations leading the charge against this draconian law, the ACLU of Georgia and Fair Fight Georgia. Over the course of this past week, Several industry figures called on Hollywood to withdraw production from the state. As so far, at least five productions companies have pledged to not shoot any projects in the state until the law is overturned. Christine Vacant, I can't ask any female member of any film production with which I am involved to so marginalize themselves or compromise their inalienable authority over their own bodies, Simon said. Our comparativist J.J. Abrams credit Mike Windle slash Getty Images. Producer Nina Jacobson, whose company Color Force is responsible for such hits as Crazy Rich Asians and American Crime Story, quoted Simon's tweet and wrote, Ditto. Mark Duplass, the fifth company to pull out of filming in Georgia is Counter Narrative Films, which produced Netflix's Triple Frontier. And no Georgia filming on any of our projects until this law is gone, wrote producer Neil Dodson on Twitter. Film and television production in Georgia supports more than 92,000 jobs and brings significant economic benefits to communities and families, says MPAA Senior VP of Communications Chris Ortman. It is important to remember that similar legislation has been attempted in other states and has either been enjoined by the courts or is currently being challenged. The outcome in Joe Kemp's heartbeat bill is set to go live in January 2020 but there will almost certainly be a court fight to block it before then. We will see you in Meanwhile, a, after it was that the final film in the trilogy would be called The Rise of Skywalker. The name was revealed last month when the first teaser trailer for the colossally anticipated film was unveiled. Abrams's return following its release. Deadline reported that the film took over $70 million pound 53 m across its opening weekend alone. Currently holding it, the horror took the title from 2018 SA, which bagged $50 million pound 38 m in its first weekend. Peel's previous ep